Hey Aquarius, it's Teresa with One Love One Light. Welcome to your message. Let's talk about your money energy. What is affecting your money energy? We're going to start with the Black Moon Astrology card. Holy Spirit, what is affecting their money energy for Aquarius? And we have Yah, Destiny. So I feel like whatever your money situation is, it is contributing to, <clears throat> it is destined to be like this. This is like the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like. This is you um, having direction. It's like yacht, the yacht is pointing. It's like the finger of God pointing to the direction that you need to go. And I feel like um, this has landed on your something big to your destiny here. All right, let's see if we can get any insight about money from the book about this. Number 48. <clears throat> You may have a conversation that you want to have. All right, so it's needing to make adjustments, being inventive, being unique, having a special purpose, trusting all will work out as it is meant to, the eventual success of destiny and fate, even amongst chaos, self-examination and discovery after a period of confusion, missed opportunities, increased awareness, humility, being shown factors you are currently blind to, making up your mind, making a choice, learning from adjustment, and flowing with the change. Flowing with the change is really standing out to me because I feel like that is, you know, there is so much change going on in the world and the economy, and I feel like flowing with the change, learning to um, put any of your concerns in God's hands and not allow that to be weighted on you. <clears throat> weighing you down a conduit of energy profound blocks stop and start motions it is best not to force the issue at this time as there is fate involved allow matters to unfold before acting bringing everything together and answering the call as the ordinary life is released into the spiritual so i definitely feel like <clears throat> this going with the flow is what stood out to me most and and being in the position that you will or in the perspective that you will be provided for this is not about sitting down <clears throat> and just letting things happen excuse me i don't know what is going on it's like a throat chakra thing here so let's go ahead and see what archetype is affecting your money energy for aquarius Okay, and we have shapeshifter. So we're talking about skill at navigating through different levels of consciousness, ability to see the potential in everything. So that's where you're opening your eyes. You're going with the flow because you're looking for where God is presenting opportunities to you. All right, so what else do we have? Whoa, that one jumped out. Okay. Oh, there was two. <clears throat> so we have believe and we have this big um i guess that's a butterfly it kind of looks like a moth a little bit too but i believe it's a butterfly so it says i believe that each check i write brings money back to me tenfold and then we also have opportunity which we definitely um you know have heard that word several times there is an opportunity that's for you that's going to present itself I am always ready to take advantage of opportunities presented to me. So going with the flow, believing that God is going to bring you an opportunity. That's what I'm getting here. And I feel like this is, you know, just rolling with the punches until you see that opportunity. And I feel like you're going to definitely feel the faded energy when you see this opportunity. All right. So let's see how this is playing out for you. Okay, the current energy we have the seven of fire defend your beliefs and decisions stand your ground choose your battles wisely and i th feel like that is crucial choosing your battles wisely not being too defensive not being too um 
not letting yourself be run over, so still having boundaries, but also recognizing that you are divinely guided towards something and it's having your eyes open for that. What is the challenge here for Aquarius? And we have the Six of Fire, victory. Good news is on its way. Public recognition or award. So there definitely could be something where you're in the spotlight, where something that you're doing is getting acknowledged or recognized. And that may be this opportunity that's coming up. The, the Six of Fire has um, full confidence. So I feel like this belief, believe in yourself and believe in the the karma that you have created the good karma that you've created and it's time for that to come back to you tenfold as it said all right so what is the advice from spirit here and we have the death card release archangel azrael the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, and time to move on. So I feel like there are things that you need to release. <clears throat> I feel like you may be going through kind of a lull and coasting right now. Because you're being prepared, you're being transformed. You may be in the cocoon right now. You're being transformed towards something bigger and beautiful. You know, you have this shapeshifter, so I feel like... You know, this is going from the caterpillar to the butterfly, and we have the butterfly here, and we have one there as well. I feel like this is your destiny. This was always meant to play out this way. What is the outcome here? And we have the king of air. There you are, brilliant, impartial, professional, diplomatic. Speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice. Balance mental and emotional considerations. So I definitely feel like there's something here where you're really coming into a very clear and a clear understanding of how your money energy works so that you are able to make um, smarter decisions and be able to see opportunities for what they are. At the bottom of the deck, we have the world, Archangel Michael, beautiful. A job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path toward enlightenment. So I definitely think that, you know, you have this successful completion here. And I feel like this is you really stepping into a brand new opportunity. This is a brand new path for you. This could be a new job. This could be a windfall of money. Um, but either way, your path is going to change dramatically, especially in regards to your finances. All right, so let's clarify. Show me that seven of fire. And we have the page of sword. <coughs> Excuse me. Page of sword. So I feel like there is, <coughs> there might be, hold on. <coughs> Oh, this weather change is messing me up. So Page of Swords is really talking about a message you may be receiving. And it's like you may receive messages about, you know, positive opportunities. But you may also have be under fire for something. And I feel like you're going to have the higher ground here. So there may be a message that's not as welcome you know, stay diplomatic. Just you just know that you have the higher ground. Believe in yourself. And then you don't have to participate in any kind of um, negative conversations. Show me the six of fire. And we have the four of coins. Don't hold on to things too tightly here. You may feel blocked, but you're about to have a victory. That's your challenge here. It's like you don't you may not see this victory coming. You you don't see how it's possible. But spirit God has a way of doing everything. Nothing is too big for God. So show me this death card. And we have the 3 of wands. So there's definitely um something that you're expecting and I feel like that is being transformed. You're going to be pushed into a different direction by going with the flow it's going to your path is going to run right into this opportunity 
show me this king of air and we have the ace of cups this is some new opportunity that you can use that you can really utilize your creative talents and your intuition i feel like um, this could be a new job, a new, a new contact, a new person that you're partnering with, but it's definitely something new. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the palace of coins. So this is having the ultimate success in your pentacles, which is your money energy. So this is having that, um, you know, the ultimate success here. So I feel like this is your money world changing drastically all right let's see what guidance we have the beauty in nature can be the answer to what you seek reconnect today so i feel like getting grounded is going to be crucial towards really putting your spirit and you see she's like meditating here i feel like putting your spirit into the flow to really um, increase your money flow. What else do we have? <clears throat> Life is too short. Focus on what you can achieve, not on what you haven't. Absolutely. So don't be focused on the things you don't have. Be appreciative and understand how blessed you really are. Your garden is a healing place. Seek refuge there to heal your soul. Those are the messages that came through for you. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back, and so do I. Take care.